Now I'll be showing you how to view live data. With your USB cable plugged in from your laptop to your S300 and vehicle running, open your S Manager software, click on the lightning bolt, and to view, click on your sensors, and here you will see all the list of sensors are data log. If you wish to record a data log, you may click on the red dot next to the lightning bolt to start recording. And if you wish to stop recording, you may click on the same red dot to stop recording. If you wish to view the data log, you may click on the graph tab and here you will have the list of sensors that we have on the default settings. You may add more sensors by right clicking, define templates, and here you have a list of sensors that you can display. Choose any sensor, make sure you set a color for it. Once you've set that sensor, you may close the window and it will show it on your graph. Now I'll be showing you how to save a data log. Click data log, save as, choose a directory, and name your file. Now I'll be showing you how to set up your onboard data logging. First thing you want to do is open the existing calibration being saved on your ECU. Click on your parameters tab. Click on board data logging, enable it, and here you have two methods. Either you can do it with a manual switch or based on engine parameters. Once you've done that, make sure to upload those changes to your ECU. And now I'll be explaining how to download and onboard data logging from your S300 to your laptop. With your S Manager software open, Click on the data logging, download from ECU, and here's a list of onboard data logs that you have stored on your S300. Choose any of them that you wish to view, click download. If you wish to view that data log, once it's done downloading, you may click on the graph tab, and here you will have all the sensors display. How would you go by saving an onboard data logging to your laptop? On top of your screen, click on data log. Save as, choose a directory, and name your file.